Hello, so in this video, I will be discussing code forces around 973 rated for division 2. So, I will be solving first four problems of this set. Let's start with problem number A that is Zahn's blender. Okay, so in this question, we are given a blender which can blend some of the fruits, and there's a condition like the blender will only blend minimum of x comma c fruits at a time and what are the values x is the number of uh, maximum number of fruits that uh, blender can mix and what is c c is the number of fruits inside the blender okay so i think so this statement is clear to you and in each second zans can put at most uh, y fruits into the blender okay so we have to tell them what is the minimum time required to blend all of the uh, fruits which are given to you okay so the total n fruits will be there okay and there you will be given two numbers x and y where x is the number of fruits that blender can blend per second along with that y is the number of that it that zen uh, zan can put into the blender per second so what is the answer so i think so the problem statement is very much clear so answer is just uh, floor well uh, seal value of uh, n divided by minimum of x comma y Right, let me write it here also. I think so the explanation part is not needed for this. So minimum of x comma y and a whole of seal value. Okay. I think so you know seal also that upper value. So this would be the answer for problem A. Let's now discuss problem A B that is better for survival. So in this question we are given total n fighters and each fighters have a fighting range of A of I and what they are doing they are like organizing a tournament which will be having n minus 1 battles and in a battle uh, like uh, they will choose two fighters uh, i and j i and j such that i is smaller than j okay after the battle i will always lose okay fighter i is eliminated from the tour tournament and the rating of j would be reduced to that of fighter i which means the you can see the a of j would be decreased by a of i simply this means this only now what can what they have said that j's rating can become negative also okay so this is also condition now what they are telling you to know uh, asking is simply what is the maximum rating last fighter can have if the battles are played optimally okay so how to solve this problem i think so this is also easy let me write the test case over here okay so you know you, you will notice one thing that uh, last fighter will never lose okay which means at then you have to increase the value for this fighter okay if you want to uh, if you want to maximize the value for this uh, this fighter you also know one thing that there would be last match there would be some last match in which this last fighter would fight okay this in this case this is four this would fight with some another fighter yes and and I want to maximize this value. Yes. So you want to maximize the, this value. You know one thing that this would be I in this case and this would be J in this case. And add then what would happen? I minus J would happen. Okay. And if you want to maximize J, your I should be minimized. Okay. Which means the fighter whom the J fighter will fight at the end should have the minimum possible uh, strength left. Should That's why like this would be reduced as minimum as possible. So let's suppose this would fight. Uh, this will fight with the second last fighter. Okay. This will fight with second last fighter. So if you want to minimize the second last fighter, just subtract the remaining numbers from this. Okay. Subtract the remaining number from this. So there, there is a HK, uh, HK also. If there are only two fighters, let's suppose three and two. In this in this case, what would happen? The two will always win and three will always uh, uh, lo lo lose. So the maximum value at then in 2 would be minus 1 only because you cannot do any operation. But if the length is greater than 2, for example in this case, just add uh, n minus 2, n minus 2 elements of the starting and subtract it from the n minus 1 element and add then subtract that number from the last element. For example in this case the answer would be like this is 5 plus 4, 9. So subtract 9 minus 5 which is minus 4 and this is also minus 4. Okay. Now, uh, add then these two fighters will be remaining, and if these two fight, the the remaining uh, the maximum value of the fighter would become eight because four minus of minus four is eight. So that is how you can solve the problem. Just break into two parts. If n is two, 
just subtract the first and last number and if n is greater than 2 just uh, in that case just sum up all of the n minus 2 elements of the starting and subtract it from the last element then subtract that number from the last number so that is how you can solve problem b also uh, i think so code is not necessary if it is here i can show you also uh, yes if n is 2 just subtract 1 minus 0 and simply return else just sum all of the number till n minus 2 numbers after that simply subtract that number from your n minus 2 uh, number uh, n minus 2 and subtract that n minus 2 from your last number so this is the simple equation for this problem let's now discuss problem by c that is password cracking so this is a bit of interactive problem i hope uh, you know what is an interactive problem and know how to solve them also i will tell you the logic and implementation for this problem part so uh, you must read the interactive i think so there's a, a very good article also of, of code forces in which they are just telling how to solve interactive problem like the input or, uh, input and output cases so first of all read that if you don't know what is interactive problem just try reading that and i will just show you the uh, intuition of this problem so in this question you are given a binary string you have to guess that binary string and how we can guess in a single query what you can do you can uh, just ask the compiler by giving by given it as by giving it a string and the compiler will uh, result in uh, one in zero if that particular string is a substring of your current uh, given string uh, i think so the, the string which you have to guess if that substring if that string is a substring of that string which you have to guess then compiler will return one else compiler will, will return zero so you cannot make more than two n of queries and the length will be given to you in the starting so you cannot make more than two n queries after the two inquiries, you have to guess whether uh, you have to tell the compiler back the what is the original binary string would look like. Make sure you don't make more than two inquiries. So how to solve this problem? Let me tell you how. Mm. So I will break the problem in two parts. First part is if n is equal to one. If n is equal to one, then I will simply make a single query. Then I will simply make a single query. Like if my uh, this is a query syntax hope you know what is it now so just make it query like question mark zero if the compiler returns me one then i will simply return zero only else i will return one because I, in this case i know that my n is equal to one okay done but if my n is greater than two uh, greater than one so in that case what will you do my n is greater than one uh, i think so greater than equal to two so in this case what you will do so in this case first of all uh, you have to guess the first number okay because there there might be cases in which the numbers are all zeros yes there might be case or there might be case your all numbers are one yes so i don't know this this could be the case so first of all guess the first uh, guess the or guess the only one character in the substring i don't matter like it, it does not matter whether there is a first character last character or any middle character it must be a character in the in the given string Okay. For example, in this case, let I am taking for an example, the given string to me is like 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. So this is a string which I have to guess. Okay. First of all, I will uh, make a query with 1. Is 1 exists? Is 1 is, a, is 1 is a substring of this whole string? The answer is yes. So I will simply, I will simply say, okay, done. Okay. I think so. I can make it 1 over here. 1 over here. Okay, done. Now done. So if is my one substring of this whole string? Yes, it is true. So my initial string is this one only. Now what I will do? I will try to add a characters at the front of my string. Okay, uh, means at the back of the machine. If this is my one, I will try to add zero over here. Does zero, one zero exist in my string? Yes, one zero does does exist. Okay, done. Look, okay, done. Now my original string is this. Now I will query with one zero one does 101 exist yes 101 also exists or let me take a case uh, is my 100 exist yes my 100 also exists here you can see it exists so my current string is zero this okay now i will make a query with another zero does my 10000 exist here you can see no it does not exist okay done now what i will do i will make another query whether my this i know this part exists so i will keep this part saved so i will make a query with 1001 i will check whether this exists or not now i know one thing that this also doesn't exist 
that you you can notice that one zero zero one does not exist. So what does this mean? If none of the character exists, you you know one thing that one zero zero exists in your string, but you know also one thing that one zero zero one don't exist and one zero 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 also don't exist. So what will what does this mean in this case? It simply means this is the end of and this is the end of your substring. Okay, which means the the previous part was the end of the end of your substring. Okay, I know this this is my end of my substring. So but but uh, after that what I will do? If I know this is my end of my substring, I will start putting number in the front of the substring in in front of this constructor string. For example, I know this exists. Okay, and I know this does not this does not exist and also. Uh, this also does not exist. Yes, so I will try to now construct a string in the front cases. Okay, this already exists. Now add the character in the front. Okay, let me add it one over here. Does this exist? Yes, it exists. Okay, so I I I am querying zero first. So I will make a query of zero only. Does this exist? No, this does not exist. So by default, I know if this does not exist, then my this case must exist. One zero one 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 zero zero. Yes, you can see. Now where now I will again make query whether this exists. No, this does not exist. So this by default means this is my final uh, string. Now I will make another. Uh, now I will make a query again whether this exists or not. Yes, this exists. Okay, done. Next case whether this exists. Yes, this also don't exist. So I will simply replace it with one. Okay, one. Now I will make another query. Write it to zero over here. Yes, this also exists. Okay, done. This exists. No, this does not exist. So I will simply erase it and write one over here. Then now you will notice one thing that how long I will make these queries till my current string length is smaller than n. <coughs> okay, till my current string length is smaller than n. Till till then I will just run the queries over here like this only. I think so. I have constructed it well. No, one more zero over here and one more one over here. So by making this type of query, you can simply construct in a wooden string. So the simple uh, logic is just first try to make the string in this manner. Okay, if they if you uh, if you like got a case in which uh, your zero does not append and your one does not also does not append in your current substring, that simply means you are at you are at the end of your substring. Okay. Simp then after this case, just add, just start adding in the front of your string. Okay, then just make it just uh, move until your string length is smaller than n, and just this is the only solution. I will show the code also. If my string length is one, I am simply guessing whether it is one or zero. You can say whether it is one or zero. Just leave this case. This is a very simple case. But if if my length is greater than one, then in that case I will simply guess whether my one exists in my substring or not, whether one exists in my string or not. If one exists, okay, then this this output must be one. Yes, if this is one, I will string simply add one in my uh, final string. S would be my final string. Keep in that mind. If this is not the case, which means my x the the done value from the compiler was zero, which means zero was that, uh, which means one does not exist in my current string, and I will simply add zero over here. Okay, done. So the uh, you you got your string of length one, but after that what? I will just start making queries uh, in the end. Okay, uh, I told you here only. I will try to make a guess over here. Like I will try to make a uh, construction in this order. Okay, uh, you can see a variable is front. Is front means I will add the character in the front. You can see I am making a string and appending one in my original string, which I know. As I know that S exists, already exists. So I will don't I will don't alter S anymore. I will make a temporary string str and add one in it and try whether my str exists or not. If my str exists, then my uh, uh, x would be one. And if x is one, then then this means uh, one is that character which exists and simply add that character. Else I will query for zero also. You you may question one thing that if one is not there, then zero would zero would be that number only, right? But no, remember one thing: this there can be and you can be at the end of your string also. If you are at end of end of your substring, then none of the zero and one will work. Okay, so this is that that case only. I am checking for one, then I am checking for zero also. If zero sets, then I will set zero. But if 
if none of the one set and zero set i will just reverse my variable is front okay by reversing the variable is front now i will add one in the starting of my string you know s s is the string which you know that text is this okay i will add one in the starting of my string and check whether my this current substring exists or not if this exists then my x would be one and i will simply add one in my original string which i know it exists else i will simply add zero and this while loop will run till my x uh, dot size is smaller than n and just simply print it at then uh, the your final string that's how you can solve problem but see i hope so it is clear to you last question which i will be discussing is minimizing the difference so in this question i think so it is very much straightforward only i don't know why it is so much less submission so yes so in this question you are given a, a string uh, uh, array of length n okay done you can perform one operation on this array what is that operation uh, you can select any index i such which is smaller than uh, n minus 1 and greater than equal to 1 of course and what you can do you can simply decrease that current number by 1 and increase the next number by 1 okay by performing this type of operation what you can do uh, you have to find the minimum possible value of maximum of a of i minus minimum of uh, like your array after the operations so after the debugging like uh, by by running few few cases you may uh, like uh, arise to conclusion conclusion that your minimum value can be uh, uh, your minimum value in this can be prefix sum uh, prefix sum at each point divided by i okay done and maximum value at each point your maximum value can be like prefix sum divided by i so minimum among all of these okay done and your maximum value can be suffix divided by uh, like number of elements which are in the suffix and maximum of all, all of this okay so this is a simple equation which you can generate uh, so let me put it again so the minimum value can be among the minimum minimum like let me write it over clearly i think so so the minimum value in this array can be minimum of or minimum of all of the sum all of the prefix till 0 to i i can write it uh, of i divided by i okay and your maximum value can be maximum of all of your suffix and number of element of suffix divided by i and maximum among these so the minimum value among these and maximum value among these just subtract them, subtract them and get the answer i will show the code also take the input array okay minimum value i am taking the sum as uh, first element okay done adding the element in my sum variable and finding the average uh, you can uh, finding the average like sum divided by i plus 1 because it is one based indexing in this case sum divided by i plus 1 also make sure to don't forget to take the floor and seal values because minimum will always be considered in the minimum value only so just take the minimum of both the floor and seal values in this case it will be floor only so take the minimum of all of the floor values done similarly for the maximum value make a sum variable for the last element and make it equal to sum and just start adding the number from the end okay done and your maximum value will be the seal value here you can see i'm taking the seal i think so this is redundant over here i can remove it easily okay so your maximum value for this case would be maximum among, maximum among all of the prefixes divided by number of elements the prefixes and at the answer would be maximum value minus minimum value i think so this is clear to you so if you if you have doubts in any of these four problems please comment me down till then stay tuned for the next one thank you